welcome back. I'm DJ. I'm Sabrina. And we're terrified. We're terrified. I don't know why we just <laughs> did that intro, but now you know. Today we're coming at you with an awesome giveaway. For so many years, we've been editing our videos with Vegas, and every once in a while, we like to do a tips and tricks or new features video on Vegas, and then we do an awesome giveaway, which is what we're doing today. Yay! Yay. Giveaway! So special thanks to Magix for giving us a copy of Vegas Pro 14 and also giving us a copy to give to you. That's awesome. So we haven't done a video like this in a while because we've been waiting for a new version of Vegas to come out, but they haven't released one in a long time. And that's because Sony no longer owns Vegas. A company called Magix acquired Vegas along with a bunch of other programs that Sony used to own. And now that Magix owns Vegas, they decided to come out with a brand new version of Vegas Pro, Vegas Pro 14. And this is going to be one of yours. It's not ours, this is gonna be yours. Maybe, if you enter to win. We'll tell you how to win in the end of the video. Vegas has been with us through most of our YouTube career and it's primarily what we use in all of our videos. And now one of you guys can also experience the awesome Vegas experience. You can make awesome videos just like us. <laughs> wow, that's conceited. So before we tell you how to win this copy of Vegas Pro 14. We're gonna do a little tutorial, show you some of the new features. There's a lot of new things you could expect from Vegas Pro 14, including mostly just bug fixes, which is awesome because there's a lot of bugs in previous Vegas versions. But there's also a bunch of cool new features that we're gonna show you right now. So here we are in Vegas Pro 14, and right off the bat, if you're a user of previous versions of Vegas, you probably noticed some visual changes to the look of Vegas. A lot of these buttons look different. Some things look a little different, and that's mostly because Vegas is now, like I said, acquired by Magix. I think technically they would have to change a lot of the, these graphics to rebrand themselves as Magix Vegas. But other than that, most of the stuff is kind of the same. But I think one of the main visual changes to Vegas Pro 14 is the size of everything and that's because Vegas Pro 14 now supports high DPI monitors better than ever before. With the previous version of Vegas there was kind of some issues with scaling and things not looking quite right on high resolution monitors such as 4k monitors and you might notice that this video is actually 4k that you're watching right now that's because i'm on a 4k monitor right now everything's scaled up really high so you could see it at lower resolutions on youtube just so you know that's why everything's so big but as such everything looks pretty good even though it's scaled up really big in windows which is with this slider of course because i'm on windows 10 so i could scale this up and everything in windows gets bigger and the problem with previous Previous versions of Vegas, like I said, is the scaling didn't happen very efficiently like it does here. And I'll show you that right now. This is Vegas 13. And as you can see, some of these icons are a little smaller and then other things are bigger. It's just kind of sort of awkward looking. And if you were on a smaller monitor viewing this, there would be a lot of things that are very hard to see and it makes editing very difficult. Like for instance, see how big my mouse is? Then I go over here and all of a sudden it's like a tiny thing to make this, it's just not right. There's a lot of things that don't have scaling, but in Vegas Pro 14, everything scales. I mean, you got the big mouse thing there for sliding. All these buttons look about right and everything's kind of right. That's where it's supposed to be. Another cool feature of Vegas Pro 14 is they extended how far you could push the event velocity envelope, which is basically an envelope that you can put on a clip, which I'll show you in a second, which makes it so you could speed up or slow down the clip. And I'm gonna show you right now. You just go to insert uh, video envelopes and then go to event velocity. And you'll see there's a little green line on here. That's the envelope. And you could basically just drag this up and down. And before on previous versions of Vegas, you can go up to 300%. Now, as you can see, I'm extending that, that number right there. It's you can see going up and down in the white. I can go all the way up to 1000 and that speed. I'm increasing the speed of this clip by 1000% and that's a lot more than 300% which is what previous Vegas versions were able to go up to. Previous Vegas versions were able to go to negative 100% but they weren't able to go up to 1000% which is ridiculous. So that's just insane um, and it's really good for people that want to do time lapses or just fly through footage um, and there's a lot of uses for that. Something else, as you may have noticed when I added this event envelope, you may have noticed things get a little blurry over here. And that's because the frame rate of this clip is no longer matching the frame rate of the project, which is 23.976, because I'm basically increasing the frame rate by going up with this envelope. And when that happens, if you like the blurring, the ghosting going on, that's fine. But sometimes you gotta mess with the sampling, which you'd go to properties here, you'd right click the clip and go to properties and 
if you wanted to get rid of that ghosting, you'd want to disable the resample. Because right now, it's on force resample, which I'll explain in a second, even though it doesn't look like it is. If you hit disable resample, you'll notice all of a sudden the blurring, the ghosting is gone. Now, a new feature to Vegas Pro 14, this is, this is where I'm segueing into, is that right there. The use project resample mode. Um, that is something that wasn't there before. And what that means is any clip that is set to use project resample mode will use the setting that is in here, the project video properties. It will use this setting right here, resample mode. So whatever this is set to, smart resample, force resample, or disable resample, any clip that is set to use project resample mode will use that setting. And that's good, it's a global resampling and that's really nice. Um, especially if you have a lot of clips and you just want to manage them all. It helps you change stuff really quick with a push of a button. And to demonstrate that, as you can see, this is set to use project resample mode. And I just want to show you that this clip is going to not be blurry in a second because I'm going to switch this to disable resample. So that means all clips that are set to project resample mode will disable resample. And as you can see, it worked right there. There's no more ghosting. So if I had a bunch of clips that were like that, it would do the same thing to all of those clips once I changed it in here. And I'll change it back to force resample and you'll see the ghosting reappears. So that's pretty cool. So just for now, I'm going to go ahead and disable resample on the clip itself. I just want to show you another cool feature here in Vegas Pro 14 for slow motion and high speed footage type deals. Now for people that have cameras that could shoot high frame rates such as 60 frames per second, 120 frames per second, or even more than that, and you want to convert your high frame rate footage to match the frame rate of your project, which in this case is 23.976, that'll get you the best slow motion possible matching it that way. In previous versions of Vegas, you had to do it manually. You had to go to the properties, right click, go to properties, and you had to manually choose the playback rate here, and sometimes the math got confusing for that. Or or another option you could do was like I did before go to insert video envelope and then do an event velocity and that was even more difficult to match the frame right there but now Vegas makes it super easy literally just right click go to properties click conform to project frame rate and then hit OK and you'll see it puts an event velocity on there and now the frame rate is matching 23.976 and this is 120 frames per second footage as you can see right here so as you can see that's a very high frame rate clip and we're gonna get some nice slow-mo out of this which you're gonna see right now play look at that look at that hair flip slow-mo 120 frames per second all the way down to 23.976 that's pretty cool and it's all with a click of a button because it's nice and automatic and I like that a lot of times when we're doing a music video, I like to crop the footage or do some animated zooms. And when you zoom into a clip, that really degrades the quality of the footage. And what's awesome about Vegas Pro 14 is there's a new plugin called Smart Zoom. So this is a Smart Zoom plugin, and what it allows you to do is to zoom in on a clip without degrading the quality as much as it would normally with the crop feature. So how it works is you can choose the position in which you would like to zoom in on your clip and then you can zoom in with this little bar and then it allows you to adjust the noise sensitivity here. Another plugin that they've added that works similarly to Smart Zoom is Smart Upscale. For this music video, all of our clips were in 4K but our slow motion footage was in 1080p since our camera couldn't shoot slow motion in 4K and that could be a problem if we're trying to export in 4K with 1080p footage. So what is awesome about Smart Upscale is this allows you to upscale the footage without degrading the quality as much as it would. This is what the plugin Smart Upscale looks like. You can choose the amount that you need to upscale it. So since we shot in 4K and 1080p and we needed the 1080p to be two times bigger, we scaled it up by two. And you can also mess with the noise sensitivity. And this checkbox lets you preview the before and after. So something else that's new is HEVC technology, which is basically a new file format. You can go to File, Render As, and here it is. You go up, Intel HEVC. And if you export with this, you're going to get smaller file sizes, but still high quality video. So this allows you to have faster upload times with higher quality streams while lowering your file storage cost. Something else that's kind of cool is the new hover scrubbing feature. If you open a clip in the trimmer, you can now scrub through the footage by hovering over the clip. And if I change the in and out points, you'll see that there's a white spot over the clip showing exactly where it is. So I could actually scrub through there and see where it's stopping and starting to make sure I'm setting the in and out points correctly. 
Another cool thing they added is a new vignette plugin that's built right into Vegas. Let's check it out right now. I'm going to go to Vegas Vignette. And it's, it's really just a straightforward vignette plugin, but because it's built into Vegas, you got all the GPU acceleration and all the nice uh, animation you could do here. So we have the outer radius, and of course, all of this has the option to animate. So over here, you have the outer radius, uh, you have the inner radius, you have the aspect, which is kind of cool. You could s sort of do like an opening and closing eye effect here if you animated that by doing this. Um, and then you can open center here and you could change the center of the vignette and the rotation of it and you could feather it or you can make it nice and sharp. You can change the color of it here. A lot of options, it's very straightforward and it's a nice little addition to the Vegas Pro 14 plugin collection. So there's been a feature in Vegas for a while now called Dynamic RAM Preview, which basically allows you to choose a section in your timeline that you want to see in its full resolution, full frame rate. Maybe you have too high quality of footage, or maybe there's too many effects on the footage and it's just not playing back in its full glory. Like for instance, this clip right here. If I hit play, you see it's kind of struggling. Well, what I would do in that case is I would choose like a section if I wanted to view this section right here. And I'd either go to Tools, Build Dynamic RAM Preview, or I would just press Shift B. So I'm going to click that. And you'll see right now it's building the preview. But the thing is, it only goes to the point of your cache size that you chose in options preferences video right here um, so if this is very small it's not going to go very far depending on the resolution of the footage and as you can see it stopped pretty quickly but I could now view back that one area that I selected in its full resolution and full frame rate. In previous versions of Vegas, if you increase this too far past 200 megabytes, you started running into some issues with performance. So one of the cool things about Vegas Pro 14 is they improved the playback and editing performance of Vegas when you have a dynamic RAM preview cache size of more than 200 megabytes, which is very nice for people that are always editing with a lot of effects and use high resolution footage like we are right now. And now, the moment you've all been waiting for. <laughs> How to enter for your chance to win? Vegas Pro 14. All you have to do to enter to win is leave a comment down below saying why you deserve this copy of Vegas Pro 14 and also explain how you would take advantage of some of the new features that we talked about in this video. So if you didn't watch this video, you're going to have to. It's part of the contest. <laughs> you can enter as many times as you want. And also, don't forget to like this video and subscribe if you're new. Sometime next week, we're going to randomly choose five people and we're going to choose our favorite out of those five to be the winner. We'll announce the winner in a video next Friday so you could get a little shout out on our channel too. If you're the winner of this giveaway, we will contact you via YouTube messages and you'll have two days to respond to us. And then if you don't respond in two days, we're going to have to choose the next person in line. So you better check those messages if you entered this contest. We love giving back to you guys because you guys give us a lot and it really makes me happy to do stuff like this. We're going to put an annotation and a link in the description to our previous videos we did on Vegas Pro 11 and 12. There's lots of cool tips and tricks in there for you to learn and everything still applies because Vegas is still very much the same. They just keep adding new features. So definitely check those videos out and you'll learn a lot. That's it. Good luck and goodbye. Thanks for watching, Brights. You're bright now because you watched this.